Step into the world of the Donna Reed Show, a classic TV series adored by audiences in the late 1950s. Follow the adventures of the Stone family as they navigate suburban life in small-town America. But buckle up, because there are plenty of amusing, surprising, and even sad facts about the show that you won't want to miss. Keep watching to uncover these hidden gems. Are there any lesser-known tidbits or stories about this beloved series that intrigue you? Perhaps you'll discover something new about your favorite characters or the mischief behind the scenes. And speaking of characters, which Hollywood actor in the show was your favorite? With a talented cast, including Donna Reed herself, there's bound to be a standout performer who captured your heart. As you reminisce about this classic, we'd love to hear your fondest memory or personal experience related to the Donna Reed show. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching for more insights and surprises about the show. There's always something new to discover about this timeless classic. The Donna Reed Show started in 1958 and quickly became a beloved family sitcom. It's about the Stone family living in a fictional Midwestern town called Hildale. The mom, Donna Stone, played by Donna Reed herself, is a devoted wife and mother. She tries to balance her roles at home and in the Kamalamterunity. Her husband, Alex Stone, is a pediatrician. The show mainly focuses on their everyday life, dealing with Kamalantran family issues with warmth and humor. Mary Stone is the eldest daughter, and Jeff Stone is the mischievous younger brother. Together, they go through the ups and downs of growing up with their parents guiding them. The show is loved for its wholesome portrayal of family life and its gentle humor. It captured the essence of American suburban life after the war, connecting with audiences across the country. The show got critical praise and several Emmylantry Awards nominations, including Donna Reed winning Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series in 1959. Throughout its time on air, The Donna Reed Show stayed a favorite among viewers, leaving a mark on TV history. It's remembered for its lovable characters, timeless themes, and lasting appeal to audiences of all ages. The Donna Reed Show, which aired in the late 1950s, featured an actress who appeared in several Oscar Best Picture nominees. She notably starred in the human comedy, It's a Wonderful Life, and From Here to Eternity, the latter of which won the Oscar for Best Picture. Additionally, as of 2022, she is among a group of 13 actresses who won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for a film that also won the Best Picture Oscar. Notable examples include Hattie McDaniel for Gone with the Wind, Rita Moreno for West Side Story, and Lupita Nyong'o for 12 Years a Slave. Furthermore, she was part of the cast in three other Oscar Best Picture nominees, Kitty Foyle, The Snake Pit, and a second mention of It's a Wonderful Life. This actress's involvement in these acclaimed films showcases her talent and contribution to cinema. The Donna Reed Show, a 1958 TV series, featured Jim Lamtree Hawkins, who portrayed Donna Reed's son in It's a Wonderful Life as Mary's steady boyfriend. In its early years, scenes in supermarkets showcased products from sponsors such as Campbell's Soup, V8 Juice, Franco-American Canned Goods, and Johnson & Johnson items like Baby Powder. The show's actors, including Hawkins, attended the LACC Theatre Academy, where notable alumni include Clint Eastwood, Morgan Freeman, Mark Hamill, Cindy Williams, and Renee Aranda. The Donna Reed Show started in 1958 and left a lasting impression on TV. The memorable opening credits, where Donna Reed hands out lunches to her family, were spoofed by the Munsters. The 2016 book X Child Stars, Where Are They Now? by Kathy Garver and Fred Asher talks about the show and its cast. You can also find information about it in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives. The show's influence goes beyond its original run, with references and tributes still being seen in popular culture. The way it portrayed family life and its memorable characters are an important part of TV history. The Donna Reed Show, which started on TV in 1958, left a lasting impression on viewers. Donna Reed, with her unique pink hair, got the idea from a special moment during a liver transplant. It was a strange choice, but became famous just like her role as the typical American mom. As the show went on, she acted alongside a talented co-star who later became very successful. He won awards in acting, like an Oscar, a Tony, and an Emmylantry. Their chemistry on screen became famous, capturing people's imaginations all over the country. After Donna Reed passed away, her memory stayed strong thanks to her husband. He made the Donna Reed Foundation to honor her lasting influence on entertainment. In Denison, Iowa, where Donna Reed's story began, the foundation hosts the yearly Donna Reed Festival. 
It's a celebration of her life and work with classes, performances, and appearances by famous stars. The festival features Shelley Fabre, Debbie Reynolds, and Lauren Janes, among others. Their presence reminds people of the big impact Donna Reed had and the lasting legacy of the Donna Reed Show. Through this festival, her memory lives on, inspiring future generations. The Donna Reed Show, which aired in the late 1950s, featured Richard Charles. Unlike some of his peers, Charles didn't benefit from long-term contracts, meaning his earnings didn't accumulate for his future. Instead, all the money he made from his appearances went directly to his guardians or parents, leaving him with only one 700 by the time he reached adulthood. Growing up in Binghamton, New York, Charles lived near Rod Serling, the creator of The Twilight Zone. He attended Binghamton Central High School, graduating in 1938 before joining the Army. In the mid-1980s, Donna Reed collaborated with Heather Langkamp on a pilot for a potential TV series titled Suburban Beat. In the show, they portrayed housewives who solved mysteries reminiscent of murder, she wrote. The Donna Reed Show, which started in 1958, starred Carl Betts as Dr. Alex Stone. He got recognized for his role, ranking 16th on TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Dads of All Time list in 2004. Carl Betts's life is detailed in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives from 1981-1985. It talks about his work and life during that time. He holds a unique record in his career. He's the only actor to appear in all three versions of the Flintstones, the original series in 1960, the 1994 live action movie, and the Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas in 2000. To sum up, Carl Betts's portrayal of Dr. Alex Stone on the Donna Reed show made him one of the best TV dads. His diverse career and appearance in all three Flintstones versions highlight his impact on TV. The Donna Reed Show, which aired in the late 1950s, featured the real-life siblings Jeff and Tricia, portrayed by actors who were also siblings off-screen. Patty Peterson, who played Tricia, had a big brother who played Jeff. In 2002, an experimental band called Facetious created a noise opera titled Raw Biscuits, The Bob Crane Story, which centered around the Donna Reed Show. This production shed light on a unique aspect of the series. Unlike many other family-oriented sitcoms of its time, the Donna Reed show notably focused on the mother as the central character. This approach set it apart from other shows of the era. The Donna Reed show premiered with Donna Reed as the lead, Tony Owen produced it. Reed and Owen had four children together, including Penny, Tony Jr., Timothy, and Mary. Two of their children were adopted. Mary was born in 1957, a year before the show began. Carl Betts portrayed Reed's father in both the show and the movie spin-out. Reed appeared alongside her aunt, Nanette Fabre, on One Day at a Time and three episodes of Coach. Additionally, she appeared on the Hollywood Squares in April 1975.